This is Gary Young. I'm Gary Young. <coughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Gary Young. Uh, and this is my new Sunday for 2023. Over the years, the sound wave frames, uh, the back end's gotten shorter. And when uh, they went from the V2 to the V3, it was just too short for me. I didn't think that I'd be able to not loop out all the time. So they ended up building me some custom wavelength frames, basically, basically sound wave frames that were longer in the back end. And many thanks to all of you guys um, spoke out and showed interest in a longer back end. And so they're like, hey, we're gonna do the wavelength and, uh, and give you your own signature frame. And I was stoked. This thing, it goes, it's like 13.5 to 14, or maybe 13.6 to 14. It's a much more stable um, setup just for when you're riding like bigger, faster transfers and stuff, because uh, that, extra like when you do an air and you come back in with a short back end it just causes you to loop out too easily and i i, I didn't like that <laughs> i run the sunday discovery bars i didn't even cut these ones they are stock just took the paper off and put them on i kind of wanted to try a shorter stem i've been running the uh, aaron ross stem for a while and um i decided to give brock's a try uh it's a little bit shorter than uh, Aaron's and it makes my bike feel completely different and maybe it'll finally uh, unlock nose wheelies for me. I, I feel like it probably won't though. <laughs> for grips, I'm running the Odyssey Warnins. Um, they're ergonomically correct, kind of match your hand. Thicker here, thinner, thicker, thinner. Like a last drastic version of my first grip with Odyssey for all y'all that have been around for a long time. Got the try and true R32s. Nothing bad to say about these things. They're just the greatest forks that I've uh, ever ridden. Pegs, I'm running the Sunday Sealies. I don't even know how long they are anymore. I, I swear they just keep, they kind of keep growing. They're this long. So if you guys know that length, I don't know, they're that. I'm gonna say they're four and a half, but I, I got nothing. For tires, um, running the, Super circuits, they are the bee's knees when it comes to ramp riding. Um, they're so light and they say not to ride like street with them because uh, they have like really thin sidewalls. It hasn't stopped me from doing it. It's crazy how light they are and makes bar spins and tail whips and spinning easier. Did 11 tail whips the other day. Um, one air? Oh, no, no, not one air. That was just the other day. That was just. It was like a four hour session. <laughs> For the headset this time, uh, I went with the Pro Conical headset from Odyssey. Um, I still end up cutting down my forks, like the leg of my forks just a little bit. So, so I like that flush look. I think it just looks a lot more finished. And the seat is a, it's just the big stitch one. Uh, it has a little bit extra cushion. I like to pinch my seat like when I do bar spins and stuff. Seat post is just the traditional pivotal. I prefer pivotal to the other ones. Drivetrain, got the Thunderbolts. They're 170 um, mil. Um, this plastic sprocket guard and sprocket combo. Still don't know the name of it for my last bike check. Didn't learn anything from that. So um, Van, I think might've looked it up. So Van, Van knows now. Got the gold chain. The gold chain I didn't actually pick. I think uh, that might've been compliments of Nuno. And I got it out of the box and I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I, I, I think it works nicely. I, I think he, he knew what he was doing. Pedals are the Odyssey Twisted Pros. They're, they have enough grip to where you shouldn't slip your pedal, but if you do, it hopefully won't give you stitches. For rims, kind of keep that's where I kind of like try to cut down on weight like I run the lighthouse wheels and as long as you keep your wheels true and tight they last me a long time I'm on the v2 clutch so the rad part with the v2 it has a sleeve that moves along if you want to adjust like how much slack it has 
uh, make sure your hub is engaged, and then you can turn the nut and actually give yourself more or less slack. Most of the time I just run it pretty loose. Like I said in my last one, this is the most important part of the bike. Uh, it's a little Huey, for you guys who don't know, that's Box Palm with uh, my buddy Albert Mercado, his, his brand, and um, he's just awesome. He makes me smile every time I see him. Unlike Albert, I really don't like my chain moving a terrible, like that much. I like it pretty well put together and not sounding like it's about to fall apart. One of the cool things about the Wavelength is it comes with internal chain tensioners and that's been working really well for me. So it, it makes for less adjustment. The hardest part is like remembering wherever you put that uh, little Allen key. <laughs> so over the last 10 years, uh, my bike setup has kind of just adjusted with the time. Things change and it's, it's okay to like be like, hey, I wanna try like, these folding tires because they're pretty awesome and same with like the plastic pegs at first like i i wasn't i didn't like plastic pegs and uh then i gave them a, more of a chance and i was like oh these things are awesome bar height has grown a bunch and like that's made manuals feel better for me and if you play with like different frames that have like higher and lower bottom brackets that that, that feels different 85 to 90 like that was it it didn't matter what I was riding. With these bigger tires, like if I'm riding street, I'll go down to like 50, maybe 45 sometimes. When I'm riding bulls, like most bulls, I can ride at like 70 to 75. And like if I'm riding like Dennis's house, like his ramps, then I'll be like 90. Most of the time, like 70-ish now. I like to switch out like bearings. So if I get like a new bike, I'll definitely do bearings. I switch out forks about every six months. Th that's that one piece on your bike that it, it, it can't fail. If that fails, then, then you're gonna have, be having a really bad day. It's cheap insurance, so you, your, your face stays in one piece. So even though I don't wear knee pads and chin guards and whatnot as much as I used to, wearing a helmet hasn't changed. Uh, the one I've been wearing lately is the S1 Retro Lifer and I always kind of do like little custom things to make it my own. I hit it with a little black spray paint and then peeled the stickers off and then it leaves my sponsor's logos. And I love my sponsors because they let me keep doing this thing that I love to do. And uh, if I ever hit my head, then I'll switch it out for sure. But every like six to nine months, I'll switch out a helmet and just get a new one. But when you do get a new helmet, one of the most important things is you gotta drop it. That way, it's not you that's gonna be getting like the hit. I'm just thankful. Like all these brands uh, that have been backing me all these years, I thoroughly appreciate it. And it's been an absolute honor to uh, be able to represent you guys. Are you any better at building bikes after the last one? Am I? No, of course I'm not any better at building bikes. <laughs> I'm a terrible bike builder. If you need your bike built, make sure you ask me to direct you to SD Wheelworks. <laughs> you. What's that one? It seems like a crazy number when you say it out loud, but at the same time, it all seems so natural. Like, there was never a time where you were like, I don't know, this is getting old, or this has been a long time. It's just one of those things, like, the years just start piling on until you're like, oh, it's been 20 years. And you look back, and it's when it's all enjoyable with somebody. You're Surprise. Like, Dang. 17 minutes. 17 minutes? That did a whole documentary thing that you didn't know about. <laughs> ah! <laughs> really, I can, I can think slash. That's nice. Thank you. Good no idea. Yeah. So, so you can see how old that is. That's my old house. Yeah. <laughs>